Why did Morgan want to meet in Minrathis? Isn't she helping the Veil Jumpers in Arlathan? Indeed, but today we have a guest, and he needed the anonymity that only a city provides. Well, look who it is. Good to see you, Lace. Rook, you remember how Varric and I served the Inquisition? Well, this is Inquisitor Trevelyan, the man who led us all. How many famous people do you know, Harding? Should I expect the uh, Divine to show up? She also served in the Inquisition, but we didn't talk much. Morrigan and Harding have told me about what you've accomplished since taking over for Varric. You've put together an impressive team, and you've got the best chance, maybe the only chance, to stop Elganarn and Gillanane. I won't let you down. Don't worry about me. Worry about the people you've recruited, and about the people depending on you. I only sealed the breach because I had people like Cassandra, Liliana, and Cullen with me from the start. Without Dorian's magic and Josephine's diplomacy, we never would have come together to stop Corypheus. Years later, I had to turn the Inquisition over to Chantry Control. But I never lost the friends who had gotten me through it all. Ultimately, they're the only ones you can really count on. Do right by them and you'll find your way. We've got the makings of a good team, I think. We'll do our best. And while you do so, Rook, the Inquisitor will do his best to ensure that the rest of the world remains intact. A daunting prospect, given that most of the South is under siege by Darkspawn. It's that bad? If not for the Inquisitor, the South would have collapsed completely. He has not been idle while you assembled your team. If the South is in such turmoil, why come up here just to talk? And how did you get here so fast? Did you think you were the only one to unlock the secrets of the Illuvians? Morgan helped the Inquisition use the Illuvians to travel. While I lack the Dreadwolf's fear of us, I may still scurry between the walls of this world to be where I might do the most good. The Inquisitor asked to meet you, and I thought it might help you to meet him. I thought the gods were mostly active up here. It's really that bad in the south. Elganon and Gilanane have indeed restricted their activities to the north. But the forces they deployed to the south, the strange new Darkspawn, have spread fear and corruption greater than any blight in history. Darkspawn have cut through the center of Orle. Balroyo and Halam Shirel are barely holding out. Ferelden would have fallen already, if not for help from Orzammar. With Denerim lost, the Ferelden's are holding the line at Redcliffe. The Free Marches have the worst of it. Acting Viscount Aveline Valen led the evacuation of Kirkwall. She's taking her people and what's left of her army to help Prince Vale keep Starkhaven. Maker, we didn't know. My ma... Don't worry. I talked to the Divine and your mother's safe with the Inquisition. Thank you. The Inquisition might just be an arm of the Chantry now. But we've still done our part to get people to fight this threat together. Again, the South is my problem, not yours, Rook. You stop the gods, and I'll make sure the rest of Thedas doesn't fall to the Blight. I've been having trouble getting people in authority to listen to us. If you help with some of your political strength... My political strength? Tevinter hates me. The Venatori helped make sure of that. And while I have a few friends in the Wardens, their leadership hasn't much cared for me since we clashed at Adamant Fortress. The Inquisitor did not come all this way to leave you with empty words, however. He brought something no one else could. A wolf statuette? We've found others like it in the crossroads. Where'd you find yours? I found it right around the time Solus's ritual failed, when he was pulled into the Fade. We've examined the magic, and it's tied to the Veil. To him, somehow. Solus is ancient, and his magic is part of him in a way far beyond that of mortals. I suggest you take it to the crossroads and see if something in the lighthouse calls to it. Perhaps it will yield some insight into your new ally. I appreciate it. 
Solus has been helpful while he's trapped in the Fade, but anything that can help me get inside his head will help counter him getting inside mine. Wisely spoken. Solus rarely lies directly, but he finds ways to weave the truth into a noose you find yourself wearing. Morrigan is right. Solus is dangerous. Anything that gives us some insight into his plans. He fooled us all before, and the whole world very nearly paid the price for it. We should go, Inquisitor. The armies in the south need you. Right. Harding, stay sharp. You're my eyes in the north. Always, Inquisitor. Rook, good luck. If I come across anything else that can help, you'll be the first to know. Thank you. Rook, welcome to the Hosberg Wetlands. I'd say make yourself comfortable. This place is... Foreboding? Yes. Well, foreboding is normal here, but it's worse than usual. The Blight's always a problem in the Anderfels. It's not strange to find a corrupted patch of forest or swamp. What is strange is the sudden surge of Blight through the Hosberg wetlands. Much like the village you found, the Blight here struck too quickly, and in strange forms. It's choked the whole area, and the local village, Lavendel, was caught in it. But they're survivors. We can be grateful for that. If there was a place that needed wardens... Then here we are. As far as we can tell, the gods you're chasing weren't here directly. If the Blight's really changed, then the changes are widespread. As for how much... I... I can almost sense something in there. Another sound under the Blight's usual song. Stories say Warden sense Blight. I never thought it was literal. It happens when you join the Order. But that's more than I should say. When we met, you tried to block the sound out. Now you hear too much. If it helps, that's what we're here for. Okay. This all sounds awful, and we're standing in the middle of it, which is normal for me. <laughs> for us too. So what's the plan? We heard rumors of the Surge here and volunteered to investigate. The First Warden expects a report, soon. If we want proof the Blight's changed, then this place is where to find it. But the way the Blight left the village, we've had our hands full just keeping it back and helping the sick. You need more to study. Yes. The odd growths the Blight has formed, like boils, they surround Lavender. I need more samples. So you two study the Blight? Formally? No. Well, maybe. It depends on your definition. We travel a lot, and tend to get sidetracked by weird problems. Who knew I'd roam so far for Morlaix? If we want to help, we need to learn what we're dealing with. Samples. That's gonna be... gross. That's probably the best word for it. I'll give you something to contain the Blight. And watch for Darkspawn out there. Right. Darkspawn. Can't forget them. Good luck. Antoine? Antoine! Yes? Ah, uh, yes, the Blight samples. They're like nothing we've seen, or anything in the Warden records. And I can... I almost hear voices in it. The gods calling the Blight. I can't hear anything. But if you believe me... We knew things were bad. But if the Blight's being called, the situation's more unpredictable than we thought. We need to... I give you two rain, and this is where it leads. Chasing Rook's lies. First Warden Stay away I... from the Blight and the Wardens. How many times must you be told? Do you think titles and bluster scare me? And your venom is better directed toward your Magisters. Rook knew something was wrong. 
I can hear it in the samples. The gods. He's telling the truth. The Blight has changed, and that changes everything. It changes nothing. Your sensitivity to Blight is useful, Warden Antoine. But you've had more than one snake in your ear. I listen to the experts. You've clearly got this handled. That's enough from you. You tampered with a ritual that unleashed Blight. You did not know what you were doing then, and you don't now. If gods control the Blight, we need to change how we approach it. Archdemons control Blight, and we'd sense if one had risen. We'd make the sacrifices needed to fight it. But we... The Blight has increased. Now is not the time to lose focus. Wardens Evka and Antoine, are you sworn to combat the Blight? Yes, but... Then report back to Weishaupt and do so. That went poorly, even for a talk with him. The talks with him ever pleasant? We talked about the rain once. It was neutral. So much for convincing the Wardens. We can't give you the order, but you have us. We'll keep tracking the Darkspawn and the Blight. We'll do what we can. And if we learn the God's plans, you will too. The elven god of monsters had been hard at work. She'd taken the dark spawn and made them so much worse. Now, she and Elgernon had their glorious new army. The risen gods were ready. And they had just the target. How fares your battle? The gods are moving against Weishaupt and the Grey Wardens. We've heard rumors the Darkspawn are being led by an Archdemon. And you have questions? I need to know how Archdemons relate to the gods. Are they just like the Blighted Dragons, or are they something else? I also need to know how to deal with the gods if they show up at Weishaupt. I propose a bargain. I will answer your question if you answer mine. What? How are the Grey Wardens? Do they understand the truth of the danger yet? We've been through this already. You agreed to help me. What did you think my help would look like, Rook? I need to know that you are prepared. You know I could just lie to you, right? Indeed. But the truth is merely recalled, while a lie must be constructed. Knowing you would expend the effort to construct that lie rather than answer truthfully would tell me a great deal. The First Warden refuses to listen. As I feared. I tried diplomacy, I tried being firm. Nothing worked. When I asked you why you should be trusted to lead the fight, you said you were no stranger to fighting stronger opponents. That sufficed for me. But the Grey Wardens fight Darkspawn and Archdemons, foes no one else can stand against. They see themselves as the best prepared for this battle. You cannot defeat Elganan and Gilanane without the Wardens. What will you do to bring them to your side? All I can really do is keep trying to get through to them. Have you ever ridden home in a wagon and felt the streets go from paved to dirt beneath the wheels? The horses slow, and everything grows quiet as you're near home. 
What do you call that feeling? I don't really have a word for it. No, you do not. Elganon destroyed that emotion. He burned it from the mind of every living being. There were spirits of that feeling, just as there are spirits of joy or fear or despair. I begged them to fight. What happened to them? They waited too long. Without the emotion in this world to focus on, they faded until nothing remained. When you grow quiet, it is a part of your soul reaching for a feeling and finding emptiness. Because I fail. I understand. I'm not going to fail. How? What will you do? Whatever it takes. Easily said. But it will have to be enough for now. You have answered my question, and I owe you an answer in return. Yes, the old gods of Tevinter, the Archdemons. There never were Tevinter gods. The Archdemons, as you call them, were always merely the weapons of the Evanuris. All right. Let's hope we can find the gods before they find their weapons. Unfortunately, the Dragon Thrall's life force is bound to the Evanuris' both power and protection. You will not be able to kill or likely even harm one of the Evanuris until their Dragon Thrall is slain. What can you tell me about the Archdemons themselves? Each is different, shaped by the whims and ego of its master. Elganon is the Lord of Tyranny. He would have ruled alone had Mithor not forced him to share power. Those who are strong, he molds into dictators themselves, with visions of godhood. Those who are weak, he crushes. His archdemon reflects him. It is huge to feed his ego, the epitome of dragonkind, bent to his will. Damn, tell me what you really think of the guy. He is cruelty and arrogance personified. All of the Evanuris were flawed, but he made all of them worse. By contrast, Gilanane was a servant of Andrew, whose skill at making monsters earned her promotion to the Evanuris. She is brilliant, ambitious, and unconstrained by anything you would understand as morality. In a kinder world, you would never need to see what she has done to her archdemon. In this world, I only hope you kill it quickly. In any event, the Evanuris will not be vulnerable until their archdemons are dead. The old stories of the Tevinter gods have them whispering in the dreams of ancient Magisters. How did they do that if they were just tools of the Elven gods? The Archdemons were once high dragons. The Evanuris bound them as a source of power. When I imprisoned the gods, their dragons remained free. That was my mistake. How so? I never bound a dragon to myself, for I believed that to enslave another creature was immoral. As such, I did not understand the power that connection gave. I thought the prison I had made was perfect. But their dragons were the conduit through which they spoke to dreaming minds. It says a lot about these talks that kill an archdemon is the easy part. It will not be easy. But you are this world's only hope. I would not suggest this path if I did not believe you could succeed. Ah, oh, the god of lies believes in me. Even with their dragons dead, the Evanuris are powerful and well protected. You will need to use my dagger, the one you recovered. It can pierce their enchantments and strike them down. All right. Kill the Archdemons, then use the dagger to take down the gods. Even a single opportunity to strike the Evanuris down will be rare, fleeting, and costly. You will not have another chance to catch them unawares. When you strike, you must be fully prepared. 